Hi right, guys, it's currently pouring down rain here in St. James Parish and the effects of Tropical Storm Harvey is being felt here. We're not flooding, thankfully, but I have a couple of friends out west in um, Caddy and a guy from Dick uh, Dickerson, uh, Texas that well, I don't. We, he doesn't know if he lost his home or not. So I'm kind of shouting against out. His channel is being a 650, and I wish him the best and a speedy recovery from this historic front in Houston. Welcome to uh, a mini review of the new engine out for uh, Train Summer, the GE E33 by Repo. It's uh pretty good engine actually the uh modeling exterior i mean everything everything's really really nice the weathering the sounds uh even the cab too as well so we're gonna jump into the cab and here's the cab as I, as i mentioned well detailed i mean optional and a lot of things and really really uh unique engine here considering it's uh electric and electric freight locomotives are kind of hard to find but i guess the railroads need had a use for them because new haven had them virginian had them and then when those two went bankrupt they had they went over to Conrail and then Amtrak I think eventually got them and they got retired in the I think late 80s or early 80s so as I mentioned this is the cab and you got your train air brakes here your independent reverser the uh, power handle which is the throttle the um, dynamic handle which is only active when you're going at speed so and we have our little ATC in the background and that can be toggled on or off which is nice but I'm just leave it on so our cab light hold on sounds really really nice but you can cycle and this is the uh, interior of the nose and we got a light here I believe yes we got a hand pump a handbrake um, the battery box for our power these valves uh, and the hand pump control the uh, pantograph when you have no power you have to pump it up and you have the electrical cabinet hold on they got it's really hard to get to that one button and this is the electrical cabinet and you can cut in cut out motors test the lamps as all your switches so we're gonna close that that thing's giving me trouble so let's put this in reset wait for the control light to come on boom control lights on so we have power and I'm just gonna take this for a little drive like I said it's a really nice engine it is pretty well modeled I would have to give it a pretty good 10 out of 10 for advanced startup, advanced brakes, um, it has advanced uh, simulation as well. And 10 10 on the detail, 10 10 on the weathering, even the cab is weathered. So, so we're going at a good, pretty good pace here. And that can go off. So yeah, Repo is known for the GP20s and the Baldwin Centipede. 
both uh, both are highly recommended by me I recommend this one too oh we forgot the headlight speaking of it I forgot to mention the headlight uh, we're on the short hood or correct the headlight has a uh, fade fade uh, fade on and fade off so if I turn it back off it fades back off nice little locomotive yeah we're pretty going pretty good here there's also a overload if I don't know if I can trigger it but I just put it in the full when it hits the notching guy and it should get a red overload up here There it goes, and if I don't correct it, the power will get knocked out. So we got we're going about what 40 miles an hour, which is pretty good because this engine is kind of a pig, I guess you could say. It started. It's very stubborn to get started. See, so yeah, I give this engine a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the sounds. Thank you. This was a mini review. Goodbye.